What's going on, guys? Will with Gutter Fighting Secret. So I'm coming to you today on an unscheduled uh, briefing for Monday. It is, what, September 30, 2024. So we're going to give you an update on what's going on with the ports. The East Coast and Gulf ports are more than likely at 12.01 Eastern time today going to shut down completely. Not completely. I'll give you an update on that. I also want to give you an update on what's going on with the Israel-Lebanon-Iran situation. And yes, I said Iran situation. I've had some new information just sent to me uh, literally a few minutes ago from a friend, uh, Iranian friend, and I want to share that with you. So let's let's jump into it. Let's not make any bones about it. Let's jump into it. So I've been talking with several sources about the shipping, the ports and the shipping situation. Uh, I've been monitoring it kind of all day. Doesn't look like there's any um, resolution. Basically, what's going on is the head of the ILA, International Longshoremen's Association. Um, they want 77% wage increase for their workers. I think the the ports offered them like a 40% wage increase, and they basically said, no, nah, we want 70, we want 77%. You're going to give me the 77% and we're going to shut down the whole country. That's what the guy was saying. And so obviously it's a negotiation tactic, right? They're probably not expecting to get 77%. Maybe they want 50, maybe they want 60. I don't know, but that's a crazy increase no matter how you slice it. Basically what's going on is these longshoremen, they're a bunch of thugs. I know, look, I grew up in, I grew up in Jersey, okay? Like I grew up, this is Port Newark that we see back behind us. Uh, I grew up about 15 minutes away from there, um, uh, these union guys, you know? And so I was talking with my buddy. Um, he runs another, he runs a former YouTube channel. I didn't ask his permission to share his name, so I'll leave it out. But um, very successful guy, former merchant marine officer, and I believe he currently works in logistics. And what he was saying was, listen, okay, containers are going to be affected by this, but there's no need to panic because bulk shipping Oil, things like this, won't be affected because it's being handled by a different union. That's the Stevedore Union that handles bulk shipping, fuel shipments, things like this. The only things that are really going to be affected by this are shipping containers coming in from Europe, uh, maybe some cars, uh, maybe, I don't know what else, comes in from China in containers. So, is there a need to panic? Probably not. But what he was worried about, and I, I completely agree with him, it's going to take your average citizen probably a little while to figure out <laughs> that this isn't going to directly affect them too, too much. Other than economically, in the long run, if this goes on for a while, it probably won't affect people too, too, too much. So what I would recommend for you guys, top off your gas tanks tonight. If you need some toilet paper, some paper towels, whatever, some groceries, go out and buy them right now. Don't panic about it, but other people in a few days, if this thing continues, might start to panic. So I would recommend before the prices shoot up and before everything gets scarce, just go out there, do some casual shopping now so that you have everything that you need for the next com coming potentially, potentially couple of weeks, but more like over the next two weeks. Hey, worst come the worst, you've got groceries, you've got some extra fuel in your tank. Like if you can afford it, go out and do it. Now, that's shipping, okay? So I don't want you to pan panic too much about it. I don't want you to panic at all, ever. I want you to be prepared. But, you know, as Jen used to say, be prepared, not scared. Um, let's move on to the Iran situation. So my Iranian friend just sent me two videos. One was completely in Fusha Arabic. My Fusha Arabic is very rusty, so I only understood like, like a quarter of what the dude was saying. Some cleric uh, didn't. It, it seemed like they were talking about percentage of money they're going to get from Iran or something like that. Another one that I got was Netanyahu just addressed the people of Iran directly. And he was basically telling them, look, like your government's fucked. We are not against you, the people of Iran, and da 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 What does this tell me? It tells me that they're preparing to do some shit to Iran. They're preparing for war with Iran. Netanyahu has never come out before and directly addressed the people of um, Iran. So 
In addition to that, we're now seeing ground incursions on a limited basis into Lebanon, mostly special forces raids and stuff like that on select targets. Um, we're going to monitor that, but let's see what happens. Lebanon's not going to be happy about this. So we've got the potential for... I would be on the lookout for what happens between Israel and Iran. And then I would also be monitoring the situation with Lebanon because this, as you all know, has the potential to really just kick some shit off. It's potentially very dangerous. So that's the update. I wanted to bring it to you guys. I know I don't typically like give you updates throughout the week. I have a set schedule. Wednesday is Warrior Wednesday and Saturday is usually some type of informational tactical video, but it's pertinent and I wanted to push it out to you. So stay tuned. If there's anything that actually needs to be pushed out, I'll push it out to you guys. Some quick channels that I want you to monitor that I find helpful. Number one, what <laughs> it's called what's going on with shipping. Really great information to follow for all of this stuff. Number two, obviously S2 Underground and The Wire. If you follow those two right now, you'll be ahead of the game. And then another one that I want you to monitor is the President's Daily Brief. That's Mike Baker's channel. Three channels right up front that are really good for monitoring you know, intelligence and, and up-to-date information. And as well, when we receive anything, like any proprietary information, that I think is relevant for you guys as prepared citizens, I will push it out to you as well. Stay safe, and please remember that you are your first and last line of defense, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, motherfuckers.